What's up everybody? Welcome to the 5150 Gringo Garage and today we're going to be checking out this bad boy. I don't know if it's a bad boy, but it's better than what I got now. But here it is. The old net gear. This is the CM1000. This one is good right here. This is the Let's see if we got it. Um good up to 1 gigabit of download internet speed. Um this one is the Doxis 3.1, so it's I guess the best one cuz uh, I guess a lot of them are the 3.0. So yeah, so we're going to unbox it, show you how it is, and I'm going to show you what I got now, and let's see if this thing makes a difference. And, by the way, I'm going to be upgrading to the 1 gigabit internet, because I have the 250 megabits right now, and I want a gig, a gigabit. So, yeah, mm -hmm. let's unbox it. Alright, so, we got this, we got this at Best Buy, I will put a link in the description, along with all the other stuff I'm using in this video, okay? Oh, no, no. There she is. A good old white box here. So we got your little quick start guide. Looks like you got your modem. already pre-mounted on its stand you see it's got the fancy design to keep itself cool with all those little air holes in there you got your ethernet your coax you got your on off button and your 12 or uh, that's 12 volt AC adapter come back in here you got your AC adapter and an ethernet cable so I'm gonna go show you my setup right now so we're gonna do a speed test with my old modem. Um, we're gonna be doing it over Wi-Fi with the 2.4 and the five gigahertz. And we're gonna hook this one up and do the same test. We're gonna do three tests. Um, and then I'm probably gonna call Comcast and upgrade my internet from 250 megabits to one gigabit. Okay guys, so this is what I got going on right now. So we're using the Surfboard SBG6580-2. Right there, and then right up above it, we got the Netgear, I think this is the AC1900. This is the dual band 2.4, um, 5 gigahertz, up to I think 1300 or 1400 megabit Wi Fi speeds. This here is up, like I said, uh, up to 300 megabits. This is also a dual band, but the problem with this one right there is you can have it at 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. So that's why I went with the, the router. Um, so yeah, this is like a hundred dollar modem right here, motor rambo, motor rat, if I can talk, motor router combo. Um, I think that one's about 120, something like that. So we're just gonna get rid of this modem and we're going with this bad boy. All right guys, so we're uh, on the Comcast website because that's who I use as my provider. And we are on, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, we're on the 5G. Look at that, 5G. Okay, so we'll go ahead, we're gonna tap that and tap that. So you have it, 182 and 9.1 upload with the 15 millisecond ping. And we got our cell phone, 123, 11.7, and what is our ping on that one? That one we got 18. Okay, we'll do it again. There you have it, 130 and 11.7. Here we got 154.9. You can see we're on the Nighthawk 5G. So we're gonna go ahead and switch it to the 2.4. Okay, now we're gonna test again. This is 2.4 gigahertz.
there you have it. There's our three tests, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. Okay guys, so we're in the closet. We got our modem up there. We got our modem right here. And I just thought about it and it's gonna be kind of funny because my kid is on Fortnite and she's playing with her friends. So when I unplug this modem, she's gonna get disconnected and she's gonna freak. Maybe, we'll see. But I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling so we'll see if she comes running in here yelling at me, okay? and our power plugged in here, okay? All our lights are on. Um, this says we're all connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go on the computer and configure this thing. Huh? What'd you do to the network? What's wrong? Everything. You still playing your game? No, I got disconnected. I told you guys that was gonna be funny. Okay guys, so we got it all plugged in. Oh, my connection timed out. But anyways, you go to the, if you have Xfinity, you go to um, comcast.com slash activate, um, and then it should send a signal to your modem, and it takes about 15 minutes, it says, so we're gonna try that. But if you don't have Xfinity, go ahead and whatever internet provider you have, just call them up, let them know you got a new modem so they could do what they got to do to connect it. So yeah, so we're just gonna wait that 15 minutes and try these tests again. All right guys, so we're back. We got the new modem connected. We're gonna go ahead and go to our speed test app. We connect to the 5G, HZ, five gigahertzels. So on our first test here, you can see the cell phone was quite a bit better on this one as far as our download speeds. There you have it, 78.181. So this is pretty inconsistent here. I would have to say both modems are right now performing about the same. Anyways, that was just a quick test on uh, seeing if two modems made a difference on speed, which as you saw, did not make any difference. Um, I did the Netgear uh, modem for more of the reliability. I've been having issues, I think with that, I've had that modem, the Aris surfboard for a few years. Um, and I've just always had issues like on getting disconnected from online games. Uh, I switched to, uh, the router out to the Nighthawk. And the only thing I haven't done is went through and did a, like a wired connection, which I will be doing anyway. So I know everybody's gonna say wired's the only way to go. Don't worry, I'll be wired up um, pretty soon. Just gotta have the modem, you know, I gotta have a, a coax somewhere, you know, installed in my garage here so I could hook my modem up out here and I'll just wire it straight up. So, it is what it is. So I'm gonna have to call Comcast up, try to get the one gigabit internet and come back to you, um, maybe tonight or tomorrow. And then we'll see if we can hit that 1000 megabit download. All right guys, so we got our one gigabit package ordered. Uh, right now it's, we're gonna try to see what our speeds are. Okay, so we're gonna do the phone and the computer over Wi-Fi and see where it's at. Um, just to note that I am probably about 30 feet from the, the modem and the router. So I'm gonna do this test this all the way out the garage, see? I'm 
I'm way out here in the garage. So I'm gonna do this test and then I'm gonna take the computer into the room with the modem and just wired straight to the dang thing and see if I get that 1000 megabit download, okay? Look at 369 on my phone. Let's try. All right guys, so it's the next morning. I drug the computer out of the garage. I put it right here. Check it out. It's just a little makeshift little spot because I did put my PC up in here, connected it straight up to the modem. You see, it's wired for business now. It's loading up the website. We're gonna go ahead, give it a speed test. Check it out. It's ready. Let me uh, go ahead. I'm gonna find my little mousy poo here. So I haven't seen yet what the speeds are gonna be, but are you ready? And we did it. We broke the 1000 mark. Pretty exciting here at the Gringo Garage, hitting 1,000 megabits, over 1,000, we're at 1,059. That is wired straight up to this HP Omen. Where is it? This HP Omen right here. Running GTX 1070, i7, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows 10, all that. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do one more test before I go. Uh, and this is gonna be the Wi-Fi speed test. I already know that my uh, network adapter is maxed at like 430 megabits, but you can see how close I was. You know, you can't get any closer than that as far as how close you have a computer to the modem or router. So I'm just gonna do a little uh, speed test with the Wi-Fi, okay, on the five gigahertz. Thanks everybody for watching this episode on the 5150 Gringo Garage on the Netgear CM1000. So anyways, I thought this modem worked great. I've been playing games all day and all yesterday. I have not been disconnected yet. Where my Eris surfboard, I, I was disconnecting like every three games. But anyways, thumbs up on this one. Um, another thing I noticed my ping on all my games is a little bit lower and on the test you can see it was a little bit lower as well but as overall speed was about the same either way um, except for when I did do the upgrade for the one gig everybody thumbs up for one gig anyways like this video subscribe if you haven't and I will see you on the next one